YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Decades, we're back, Solar Gene, this is episode 8, and this episode, what we're going to do, I'm going to change the format a little bit, I'm only going to talk for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to do a uh, time lapse for you guys, because I have a lot of building to do, so here's our current setup, um, we, we still are lacking for the uh, this particular material here, um, our, uh, these here, the carbon, I rarely get over 300 of those. As you can see, these rarely get over 20, 30. These rarely get over 300. Um, I am cranking out the composite nanomaterials. These three items here, I'm cranking them. Yeah, as you can see, these are pretty nice as well, but I've, I've, I've let it run for a while. Um, my nuclear fuel can't keep up no matter what I do. Um, I just keep adding machines and it just it won't keep up um, so I went back to my original theory where adding solar panels was the answer and it did it, it it solved my power issues and I calculated exactly what I needed how many I needed to put down in order to equal one of these um, nuclear devices nuclear power plants and so one full row gives me more power than one of these okay so the only thing I have to do is fill this up and I can pretty much delete this uh, the only problem is is during the time when and the Sun goes down right um, what I'm unable to calculate is how many of the battery packs I would need to sustain everything until the Sun came back up so I'm just gonna leave these in place um, I do have I don't, I don't have a reason to have this anymore, so I can go ahead and bring bring that back, bring that material back, and I have everything running. Um, this device here I had turned off because it was eating up like, I think it was 1,200, hold on, let's see, um, where is it right here, yeah, it's 1,296 points. Um, from power now what I what I placed down without <laughs> same on me what I placed down without really diving into as far as looking at what the uh, Power requirements were was this machine here. I Didn't know until I was I went back through here and just took a look that this thing now that's 4,000 power I was getting ready to put this one down until I saw this I'm like oh cow so I'm like I need to come up with a better power option so this episode I'm going to start facilitating a way to get this now in order to get this we need that fuel where it says 2.2 equals to power I don't know what that fuel is so I went over here and I clicked right here to see if I can find that image because it doesn't tell me what Okay, so it's over here then. Um, yeah, right there. There it is. So, right there, if, uh, 100 helium and one, I think that's hydrogen, um, it gives you 15 of whatever. Oh, fusion fuel. That's what it is. Fusion fuel. Um, and that's the only one I could find that does fusion, f fusion fuel. So, what I've already done, because I, you guys need to see this part. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that gives some type of rocket fuel. Okay, I'm not there yet. We don't need that yet, but this is what we need right here. So, we, we need 100 helium. I think that's helium. Um, and then hydrogen to equal the 15 fusion fuel. Okay. So, what I did jumped out to the solar system I looked around oh I actually went into the tutorial and I started looking into orbital stations because I'm like well how do I build an orbital station I didn't know that this is like considered my once you pay for it once once you put um, take station to orbit and you pay that that um, fee that I, I I guess I'm allowed to start building on top of it. I thought I had to build my own from from jump from scratch, right? 
but I guess this is ours now because we paid for it to be in orbit. So we can actually start building this out. Okay, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Um, and then I looked at interplanetary flights. So then, um, going to the research, I did notice after, let's say, this here it says thrust to weight ratio of shuttles plus 60%, cost of launching into orbit negative 20%. I, I did notice the cost of ordering um, items go down. So I'm like, oh, that's gravy. So now I'm, my, my um, plan was to go over to the moon because I, I clicked on every one of these planets to see what was going to give me helium. And it turned out the moon has helium. I'm like, oh, and so I went ahead and I, I placed down my uh, my starter base. But I haven't do, did anything yet because I was going to do it on a time lapse now. Um, here is my spot which was hard to find because I tried to put down put this thing down there I circled a large circumference area and it's this was the only place I could find it, that it turned green so now what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the time lapse guys I'm gonna go back to the uh, Mars and I'm going to send uh, a bunch of items oh let me show that to you because I I haven't done it yet I wanted to show you guys this so let's go back to um, decades on Mars. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's, it, it's a relief knowing that it's not going to cost me that much money to send items from Mars to the moon and from the moon back to Mars. So, since I'm here, I'm going to get ready to go ahead and send all the important uh, items because what I want to be able to do on on the moon I need to be able to build one of these one of these here so I need to send the hand underneath the iron and whatever that other thing is <laughs> I can't remember all these names so I'm going to go to send and we have how many we have 2800 of those let's send you know, I don't want to send more than I really need. Uh, well, let's just send 500. Okay. And we needed to send this item here, um, which we have plenty of those. Let's send um, uh, 2,000 of those. Okay. We need to send some uh, a steel. Let's do 5,000 of those. Let's do 5,000 of these. Let's do 2,000. How much do we have here? Ooh. Okay, we need to we need to address that. 2,000 of this. 2,000 of this. And look at this. Shipping costs only 84 grand. It only takes five days. That's freaking awesome. And we have plenty of this too. So let's do um, 2,000 of that. I don't really know if we're going to need water because we... Yeah, because we're going to have people working there, so we're going to have to kit it out with, we're going to have to send water there, um, because I don't think there's ice. Uh, so we'll see, once I start planning down machines. Um, we need to send O2 there, uh, we have plenty of that, let's send over 3,000 of that. Soil, there it'll be able to get its own soil. Uh, I don't know if we need any of this, but we don't have much to give anyway, so... Uh, no, no, I don't think we're going to need any. Oh, we are going to need that, aren't we? We're going to need three of these to build the machine that extracts that helium at a high rate. Um, I think that's what it was. Okay, well, let's... Let's do 500 of these, 500 of these, um, 1,000 of these, 500, no, no, I don't, I don't know if it needs any of this. Let's send this. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit minor. And yeah, this is what we need. Ooh. Okay, so it won't need 
we can't build that yet because we haven't unlocked that technology. I'm actually researching that now, and I think it's only like at 15% because how long is going to take um, to research that technology? So I think the second best is this one. That's helium. This is helium as well. So yeah, we need. Oh, I don't think I sent the resistors. I sent everything else. Steel. Okay. So we need. I'm getting my. I like to use my camera so I don't have to remember this crap. I just take my camera out. Boom. Shoot it on the iPhone. Tells me exactly what I need. So. Oops. Let's go back. Let's get out of this. Let's look at my. Logistics task and did it shipping. Um, okay, so we're shipping 500. We only need two. Um, we're going to need more. Let's say we're going to put down five machines. So I need to send 500 more of these. Let's get out of this. Logistics task will be able to delete it. Yeah, because they haven't. It hasn't left yet. Close. Okay, so logistic task. Okay, so we need to send, let's say, a thousand of these. Because that would give us five of those machines. Let's do ten of those machines. Ten, that would be two thousand. We need two thousand. Okay, so... 2,000 here. We need 100. We need 100 of these. That's awesome. For 10. Uh, we need 2,000 of this. Okay. And we need... So let's do 100. Let's do... Um, how much do we have? We have eleven thousand. Let's do eight. No, well, let's do yeah. Let's do eight. That uh, let's do eight. Okay. And I don't know what we're gonna need here. Let's just do this. Yep. Do we have a yep, perfect? Yeah. Um, okay. We don't need any of these high-profile stuff anymore since we uh, since it's out of reach. So we'll just send a thousand of all this. Um, and let's do 3,000 of this because we have 12,000. Uh, let's do 5,000 of this because we have so much of it. Okay, yeah, that works. We're going to need more steel though. On non ferrous metals, anyway. That's what we're gonna need. Okay. Send this. And let's just fast forward. Let's, play, let's buy 30,000 of these. Yep, let's do it. And then we'll send over like 5,000 over to the moon. There we go. So send. Let's do six thousand to decades of the moon. Thirty-four grand. Perfect. All right. Now it starts the time lapse. That'll be me building out the base over on the moon. Let's go.
we've successfully implemented these big boys here the fusion reactor these are amazing and I was able to set up a base that is only made for mining the helium and then I get it shipped here every nine days it's like um, at 4400 a piece um, 4400 total quantity when it ships here and look at this look at that so when I click on energy we have five days worth just with these two reactors and now with these two I don't I don't really know what happened um, the the energy ran out luckily I just saved my game so I reloaded it went back in there and I had plenty of fuel one of these creates 65,000 or 60 62,000 K okay it says max produce per hour 62,000 K so I clicked on this and it indeed said generation by generators 62,000 K and look at my energy consumption total is only 51,000 so under no circumstances should I had ever ran out of power and boom I ran out of power and I have no idea what happened so I saw how good I'm doing on the fuel because these things run amazingly awesome on this stuff um, so I put in two I might put one more in here because what I'm going to do as soon as I have enough processors I only have seven it's taking forever to make the processors um, I'm going to get rid of all these and put one of these in um, and this is something else that I, I, I don't like and I wish they would do something with uh, maybe if the developer sees or hears about this think about this the the new I'm getting ready to upgrade my graphics card uh, from an RTX 3090 to an RTX 4090 the 4090 does almost double what the 3090 could do in certain games but at less power okay less power it you, yeah you need to have a thousand watt power supply but they also recommended that for my 3090 okay so the 4090 is more powerful and consumes less power per watt I mean per per flop or whatever however you calculate that so it, it takes less to do more as we scale up and spend all that time researching this should change it shouldn't be 216 216 you know one for one is one thing and then maybe it should be you know one for one and a third and then um, two for two and a quarter right a two and a half right three for three and three quarter four four for five and then you know, five for six eventually like down here I w it, it, as long as it took to research this I would love to see this only take 4,000 power or 3,500 power and produce this it shouldn't be one for one like it is wall up I mean what's the purpose right think about this you could you could easily just build out a ginormous facility at this stage because the only thing you need is just you know the basic materials to build out the um, the server rooms right and just put a crap ton of these that's all it, there's no advantage to spend all that time to, except for the space but that's it I mean it's, it's really easy to build out the actual room for the servers that's just basic material right but to put as much time and effort to research this and it's still one for one that that sucks that's not good don't like this now I did see um, in the research I did see something that is significantly discounted um, not there I know I saw it and I said finally they got the hint they they, they understand that's what they should be doing um, right there negative 32,000 in um, energy but yet it gives you 46,000 in server power I still would like to see that 40 uh, maybe 28 negative 28 for the power giving you 46 or negative 23 for the look at how far down you are to get here 
46,000 research points. And then you, you if you look at this and you go over to okay let's see is there another one that's even more powerful than that so the so this is server power and this is that scientific equipment stuff so i don't really know if that's why they do that um let's go server power I see that. See, let's see what I'm saying. Look at this. Now, this makes sense. Thirty-two thousand to forty-six thousand, but up here it's seventy-seven. It's the one I unlocked. It's one for one, right? So I wonder why is this the only one that they gave a benefit to? Thirty-two thousand negative to forty-six thousand, and everything else is one to one all the way down here. Good lord, what is that? Antimatter reactor. That's wow, that's that's a long way away. Look at 186,000 to 186,000. It's just not really beneficial to be all the way down there. And I really would like to see um, how much processing power I have. Like, okay, research has taken forever to get to this 46,000 research points, right? It would be nice if I could tell, like putting this in here, how much faster is it going to get to 100%? Like, it, I wish it gave me an ETA, right? Um, that would be awesome. But anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Um, I just wanted to get that accomplished. Um, now, with these two bad boys in place, um, I... Oh, I, I think I told you guys, I found the... When I go to, when I hit research, when I hit this, that's where the research I item is. Right here. This big, huge, I don't really know what that is. Uh, it looks like some type of satellite, maybe? Um, but it's not, it's not competing with what I just put in. What I just put in is bad boys doing 10,000. Yeah, so that's why I was... I was confused. I couldn't find it in here. Yeah, you don't click on this. You have to actually click on this up here, the equipment room, because I guess it's because it's outside. It's up here, but I didn't see it before. So, yeah, this is 77s. Um, but this is, I like this because of the fact you can put it anywhere. Except for you can't put it on top of a building, right? But... Yeah, you can put this bad boy anywhere. Put a couple rows of them. You guys have a phenomenal day. Positive energy, positive thoughts, positive attitude, positive vibrations out to the universe, guys. It's your boy Decades putting in that work. Until next episode, I'm out.